Flooding at Chatfield State Park in Littleton, uh, now record-breaking. So as of today, it's higher than it's been since it was built following the massive deadly flood 50 years ago. And because of it, the west side of the park is now closed. So 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts is live at Chatfield with the latest on the conditions there. Kelly and Mitch, the water here has just continued to rise, but the park manager says he does think it has finally crested. They've led us here into this closed area of the park just so we can give you a look. And this is really incredible. All of this was dry land and over there, that is a bathroom that's partially underwater. And then on this side, it's even worse. To give you some perspective in terms of how deep this is, you can see out there the tip of a stop sign and then beyond that is another bathroom, even more underwater. So just one reason why this is certainly not a place to be swimming. You can leave that to the wildlife who have happily taken over the streets, typically used by runners and bikers. The west side of the park that's closed includes all boating ramps as well as the dog park. You cannot get into the park through that main entrance off of Wadsworth. We have seen a few people who have snuck by this morning including a boater who says he cannot believe how quickly the water has risen. It's probably risen another three or four feet just in the last couple of weeks. So it's uh, the, uh, the bathrooms over there were probably about uh, two feet below the door the last time I was here, and now you can't even see the doors. And just to give you another perspective, you can see where this street turns right into a lake here. The park is now working with the Army Corps of Engineers to figure out a safe way to release all of this water through Chatfield Reservoir, and I'm told that could take a few weeks. Basically, the park is doing exactly what it was built to do after that historic flood 50 years ago, which is hold water and prevent the rest of the community from flooding as well. If you do want to come and check out the park, again, not all of it is closed. You'll want to come in through the Plum Creek entrance, and don't forget the bug spray. We're live in Littleton. Lindsay Watts, 7 News. Good advice, Lindsay. Thank you. And be sure to download the Storm Shield app. It'll help keep you safe in dangerous weather. The app will send alerts right to your phone before the danger arrives.